With this startling move, Pippa Middleton might be attempting to salvage her family's failing business. The Middleton family has long been involved in the party supply and planning industry. The company owned by her parents, Michael and Carol Middleton, apparently experienced severe financial difficulties that forced them to sell it for a steep discount. The Middleton family may no longer be in the party planning business, but Pippa Middleton and her husband James Matthews appear to be considering giving it a shot. Pippa has always had a flair for entertaining. Over the years, she has published several cookbooks and established an interior design business through the Buckleberry Gift and Farm Shop. Additionally, parties are now welcome at their Buckleberry Farm Park. They revealed the information in late April 2024, stating in the caption, We are so excited to announce you can now book the lodge for birthday parties, corporate events, yoga sessions, pillates, and so much more. The lodge on the property is the one available for parties. You can pay a deposit and reserve your date right now online. The two paid £1.5 million for the land in 2021, according to Hello Magazine and as of 2024, it is available for events such as birthday parties, corporate events, yoga session, pillates and so much more. They revealed the information in late April 2024, stating in the caption, We are so excited to announce you can now book the lodge for birthday parties, corporate events, yoga sessions, pillates, and so much more. The lodge on the property is the one available for parties. You can pay a deposit and reserve your date right now online. The two paid £1.5 million for the land in 2021, according to Hello Magazine, and as of 2024, it is available for events such as birthday parties, corporate events, yoga session, pillates and so much more. Fans are now immediately recalling her parents' previous company, Party Pieces, which provided supplies and assisted with party planning. As a result of her recent move, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the company was having difficulties, and things started to get worse. The two may receive little to nothing from the sale of the family business, which they founded in 1987 and later sold to businessman James Sinclair, even though they remain shareholders.